Hello, I'm Fjallsback. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Last uh, episode I was sort of rebuilding and seeing if we can get our money situation back in order and getting this retinue here reinforced and whatnot. And then there was that one jihad for Mesopotamia. Oh, that's a lot of soldiers lined up against, uh, against us. The Kingdom of Mesopotamia. That area here. So that will be these provinces around here. Okay. We have a faction. Increase the speed again. Um, not too worrisome right now. Okay, we could win that fight over here. And the autosave is done. Regaining a smidge of money. Good, good, good. Wars going on. Somebody has inherited something. All right. <clears throat> the world will not weigh me down anymore. I have a new spring in my step. Joy in my heart and smile on my face. We are no longer stressed. Good. All right. Inherited the barony. You actually like us a lot. Because we gave you stuff. All right. And faction rears his ugly head again. Elective succession. Okay, a rubber thingy has gone away. And we have tech we can invest in. Oh, I should look into passing a law as well, I imagine. See what we can do. And Thieves Guild has been dealt with. Okay, you inherited stuff. Good for you. Commander. Uh, none of these have anything specific, right? Right. So I guess you will become a commander. You are all working. No, you are not. You can research some tech for me. Right, so which one? That will probably be the economic tech area. So I have enough to go with one more in construction, but I think I should just fill in these first. So improve keeps and trade practices. And that is basically that. Fifty troops a month. Not very many. But we will get there. Another thieves guild goes away. Education. Our daughter. Brooding, playful and rowdy. Rowdy, so you can go military. You're not gonna go intrigue. Brooding and consensuous. No, brooding and playful. So you can go to stewardship as well. So it's between diplomacy, stewardship, or military, or martial rather. And you have diplomacy of eight and intrigue of eight. So I guess it's going to be diplomacy. Diplomacy. There you go. You go do that. <clears throat> Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and the time sleep seems to slip away. 
Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness setting in. Help or wounded, potentially. You can even die. No, no, you will not help. No need help. Okay, possessed. There's no man better at increasing the church's opinion of me or teaching me how to become a more pious woman than my patriarch, Patriarch Arthurbrand. I need you to talk to the church, temple vassal or monthly piety. Uh, vassals like you more. We are still voice of Satan and all that, right? Suspected demon spawn, yeah. My husband, Emperor Hakon, has requested to join the Knights of Kaltrava in their struggle against the infidel, even though this will forever disinherit him. Are you in line to inherit anything? Not really. Sure, you go ahead. My husband has gone off to join the uh, Porkov. This efficiently annuls our marriage. Good riddance, okay. So, no longer married, but it got a lot of kids out of this guy. Which means we should go marriage again, and matrilineally... We go by rank. This guy is a prince of Georgia. Commander in Holland. Shrewd, ambitious, paranoid, kind. Huh. Sure. Do that. Oh, he was actually married to our daughter that died, right? That's that guy. That is that guy. Right. <laughs> that's awkward. Uh, that's awkward. I'm marrying our daughter's husband. Okay, disbanded a faction. All right. New faction has come into play, though. Yeah, my allies are clearly losing the war. At least for the time being. Oh, education focus. Sun. Let's go with, say, struggle. And then you, our heir, you go with pride. Good, good, good. Right, dear Empress Lerban of Alba, during your husband's recent visits to Shlupsk, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a non-aggression pact between us for the near future, and we will welcome any visitors from your realm with open arms. It's over here somewhere, yeah. A wonderful idea. Sure, we can do that. He's actually Norse. At the table today, Kaliath complained about the food being too hot without even touching it. Our son touched the food to make sure. May gain fussy or may gain fussy. Well, may gain fussy. No matter what I do or avoid doing, there seems to be no way around to make Kalia relax. He won't eat at all now, and I have no more energy to deal with it. Hopeless. Okay. Right, so these guys were Norse? Well, they're Catholic. But they're owned by Norse characters. Alright. That's a thing at least. 
So how is it going with the reinforcements? 3,000, so still some way to do go. Um, young Mormoman seems to be developing a rather devious and manipulative streak, our daughter. Uh, I'm sure she will suffer in life. Becoming cruel. We are cruel ourselves. Deceitful or cruel? Let's go for cruel. See if that flies. It did not. Factions, they're still fine. Uh, more raiders. Don't know where they landed. They landed up north here somewhere. You will not become a rascal? No. Okay, you are not at peace. Okay, rubber bands. Disbanded. That'll be good for income. How is this doing? Minus eight. So that should be gone reasonably soon. Right, we actually allowed plots last, I remember. Nothing that seems to bother me directly, so that's fine. Truce is about to expire, all right. Okay, someone converts. Good, good, good. Um, we have a fair amount of money now, so let's go at full speed for the reinforcement. That will be 105 per month, so basically doubled up. Okay, someone usurped the title from someone else, and we are now losing money. Yeah, so I want the um, retinue fully reinforced and then looking into building more. And then we have some loans to pay off, I imagine. And, well, we don't have to, but look, look, look into it at least. And then maybe improving our uh, holdings. So we can get even more money. Uh, okay. Another negative malice modifier gone away. Sessions and whatnot. So, how are you doing? Increased council power at 94. All right. We're actually making money now. Even with these guys reinforcing a full 18 troops every month. So the cost has gone down because it's closer to uh, max. That might be it. And the speed has gone down as well. Pistons are slowly, so another modifier gone away. Right, Jesus' whispers have become more frantic, frantic of late. He's worried that Satan has corrupted his words through his agents at the various economical councils. He has asked me to seek out the good news that Philip brought so that I can understand the, rule, the true role of Mary. I will become a bulgum, bulgumilist. Which is a heresy of the Orthodox? Yeah, it is. 
Okay. Um, culture advances. So we've done legalism, so we basically need these. Noble. Fertile vessel plus 18. City vessel plus 18. Temple plus 18. Short rain. Minus three or three years. Full status of women, I guess that's the one we'll go for first. And then we have that one there. Yeah, I should have looked into laws as well. What can we do? Empire of Terror, it says here. So full one will vote in favor, others will be against. Obligations I'm not too worried about really. So imprisonment I cannot imprison without punity here. Council has power to do that. But right, let's get full power of women in here. Let's see if that can work. So my council I have advisors. You just dislike us a lot. Can I buy a favor? Nope. Guess I'll fire you then. Yeah, minus 30 opinion. That's that is that. Revoke my honor title. Okay. So an advisor will buy opinion. So you would that be another vote automatically or not? No, no. No, I still have to buy your vote, I guess. Uh, buy a favor. Yes, sir. Let's do that. Okay. So that's the Baroneth Judith, the Fulham. So that'll be two votes. And we need. Three more, right? So that's two, four, five. Yes, yeah, so we need three to turn. Two more. Two more? Three more. Patriarch. Drew the Duke is voting our way here. This Patriarch is usually bribable. By a favor? Nope. Stuart, will you buy a favor from you? Nope. This guy here. He costs 700 and whatnot. So no. Okay. And the last advisor. You're here. No. Right, let's fire you then. So he dislikes us a hundred now. And by opinion. I guess you will be the next one here by a favor, and that's being no. Okay. So that didn't work. So 
So let's just for the time being fire you as well. Where are you there? Fire the steward. And you get fired as well. And we'll just appoint them afterwards. And same here. By opinion. By a favor, no. By opinion. By favor, no. And by opinion, no. And now you wouldn't want to do that either, so let's fire you as well. And oh, there's no one there, so if I go to my decisions, write a holy man to court. Then there should be one to appoint. But he's not probable either. Darn it. Oh well, I guess um, that vote is not going to fly. Right, so I'll take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.